Well, I guess I have to go back to the, the beginning here and give you a short history. I was 10 years old out on Long Island, Italian family, and my mother came to me one day, which I still remember, and she said, your father and I want you to learn how to play the accordion. And I said to mom, anything but that, anything but that. Long story short, I ended up playing the accordion. Lessons, competition, and for, well, from 10 to 17, 18, I got into the accordion playing. But at eight, age 18, I was going to college, and that accordion went in the closet and stayed there for 42 years. Fast forward to 2008, and we're on vacation in, a, in, in Vermont, in the middle of nowhere, and I woke up one day wanting to play the accordion again. And a long story short on that is that I started looking around and finding them. Tag sales, garage sales, people had them in their closets, in their basements, in their attics. And I started collecting them. But what came with the accordion were the stories. And these were not stories of the uh, players of the day that were well known. These were average individuals that took their common units, their simple accordions, and took them into places that you would never think you'd find an accordion. War zones, uh, senior centers, hospitals, places where people were in trouble. And the accordion became a therapeutic device, if you will, that brought happiness to people. It turns out that the sound of the accordion is a happy sound, and people only took them out when they to play them when they wanted to be happy. So people came when they heard the music, and instantly people became friends. There was no need to translate the music, regardless of your ethnic background, race, color, creed. The music was understood, and it had a binding effect on folks, brought people together, and I was picking all this up in the stories. And what happened then, I guess I was motivated to put them down on paper, and that once I collected them, I sat back and said, wow, this has to be published. And out came the book. And it's just been released September 1st, 2018. It's on Amazon, um, Barnes & Noble, and uh, an outlet called IndieBound. And we're hoping to get these stories out to people so they can enjoy the impact the accordion had a 100 years ago on people. Today's 21st century culture is, as we all know, very divided. And it seems like we need something that would bring us back together again. And the accordion can be part of that. It worked before, and it still has that magic about it that brings people back together because they become happy when they hear the sound. A lot of folks had accordions somewhere in their background. So as soon as they hear the music, the memories flood back. Well, quite frankly, there were quite a few folks when they heard I was collecting the stories, and generally it was when they visited our museum, because the impact of seeing 300 accordions or more in a, a vintage accordions in a museum, and then another 200 accordions that we have in our showroom that are for sale, they were overwhelmed. And then they heard some of the stories, and they would forcefully in some cases tell me you've got to put this on paper you've got to get this out to people because it's not really about the equipment it's about the impact the equipment had on the lives of people who were in trouble who went through world war ii world war one the great depression that era when the accordion was most famous and most needed and that, plus, there was an individual named Tony Lovello, who uh, was a noted accordionist. He just passed a year ago, 
<clears throat> as of this uh, discussion, his last words almost to me were, put the book together. You have to tell people about the accordion and what you found. It's too valuable not to um, let them know. So that was kind of my final promise to him that I would publish the book, and now we have it. So it's um, a lot of pictures about the old accordions and a lot of stories. And I think it'll surprise a lot of people, make them happy. Well, that's pretty easy. Um, we did get it published, and it's out on Amazon.com. It's out on, out on Barnes & Noble, and it's out on an outlet called IndieBound. So it's easily bought, or you can order it directly from me at the New England Accordion Connection and Museum Company. And you can check out our website, get in touch with me by email um, and or text or phone call, and I can send you an autographed copy that's available as well. You're very welcome. <laughs> Oh,